My name is Dr. Robert Korst. I'm the director of the Hyperhidrosis Center at the Valley Health System and also the director of thoracic surgery. We've had a lot of questions from the community on hyperhidrosis and uh, what the potential treatment options are available. And so I'd like to address these questions today. So the first is, what is hyperhidrosis and why does it occur? So hyperhidrosis means excessive sweating. Hyperhidrosis usually starts at the time of around puberty or it could start a little earlier. Uh, and the most common area is the palms of the hands and the soles of the feet. It's incapacitating and very common. It's estimated to be about 6% of the general population. The next question is, could excessive sweating be a sign of something serious? So primary focal or localized hyperhidrosis is an entity of itself and it is not a sign of something more serious. However, generalized hyperhidrosis could be a sign of another diseased process, okay? So uh, other diseases such as endocrine problems or glandular problems, uh, diabetes, obesity, uh, these other processes can cause generalized hyperhidrosis, meaning sweating over the entire body. And when a patient comes in with generalized hyperhidrosis, usually some kind of workup ensues to make sure there's not an underlying medical condition present. But for patients who have the primary focal or localized hyperhidrosis, we don't have to do that because that's not a sign of something more serious. Are there any at-home treatments that could help with this issue? There are multiple treatments, but unfortunately, none of them are perfect. The most commonly used treatment to start is a, type of, a specific type of antiperspirant that you can get with a prescription. Uh, and that's what's called an aluminum chloride antiperspirant. And so way, the way that works is that patients will put it on, say, the palms of their hands and they put it on at, at night before they go to sleep. And what the, the aluminum chloride does is it actually blocks the sweat pores, the sweat glands, physically blocks them from secre secreting sweat. What treatment options are available for hyperhidrosis and what are the benefits and risks for each? So there are a bunch of different treatment options and each treatment option may be a little bit better for depending on what specific part sweats. Uh, these include certain medications which can help stop sweating, topicals, okay, antiperspirants, which uh, will actually block the sweat glands. Um, in addition to that, Botox works, Botox injections for hyperhidrosis. Uh, some other very specific treatments, such as a, a new treatment called Miradry, which is effective for uh, armpit hyperhidrosis. And then finally, uh, surgical sympathectomy, which is a same-day surgical procedure to actually cut the nerves which are responsible for hyperhidrosis. What kind of physician should I visit to treat hyperhidrosis? A patient with hyperhidrosis goes to a hyperhidrosis center where the doctors there are familiar with all these different options because one treatment may be better for one patient but not so good for another. Some primary care doctors and other types of specialists uh, don't see very many hyperhidrosis patients and, and don't really have the ability to convey uh, what the options are. But at a hyperhidrosis center where that's the specific goal, uh, that is the best bet to get the best advice. For more information on hyperhidrosis and potential treatment options, feel free to make an appointment at our Hyperhidrosis Center or visit our webpage, which has a lot more information on it. Thank you for listening.